Hey guys, welcome to another video. As you can see, I'm in a different setup than I usually am. And that's because I'm gonna be doing a makeup collection and also kind of like a short little vanity tour. I'm currently sitting on my floor because my chair usually goes right here. But if I was sitting on my chair, then I'd be kind of, I don't know. I look really small. <laughs> Before I get into it, I just want to say thank you to everyone who keeps sending me love and tons of support. I've always wanted to start a channel, but I've always been scared of like people's opinions and like what people might say, but I've actually been getting a lot of love and positivity and that makes me really happy. I know this is a small amount of subscribers, but I'm almost at 200 and that's a lot for me because I'm just starting out and I already have 200, almost, almost. I think I have like almost 170 right now. So 30 more until 200. I don't know if I could do this without all the support I'm getting, but thanks to everyone who shouts me out on their stories and who tells me like my videos, who comment. I read all the comments, even though there's like three on like each one, but they actually like really make me happy. And I'm very thankful, so. Most of my makeup in these, my palettes, my mirror, my mini mirror, eyelashes, more palettes, brushes, um, more makeup in here. I have these Alex drawers, they're very, very old because the new ones are like skinny and tall. These are short and fat and like the handles are a little bit different. I was really hoping I didn't have to do one of these pop-in things, but looking back at it, I know that this doesn't fit on these i know and i didn't realize how funny it looks i don't know if anyone else noticed that but yeah i know it doesn't fit don't come for me please my mom got these at a garage sale so you can buy the regular alex drawers um at ikea also this add-on top desk thingy is from ikea <laughs> Uh, my parents got it for me for Christmas. Also got this mirror for Christmas. Don't know where it's from. I can try and figure it out if you guys really want to know. But I also got this mirror for Christmas, I believe. My friend got it for me. I don't remember if, if it was for my birthday or Christmas. But um, you can get these kinds of mirrors at like Ulta or wherever. I have these drawers which have makeup in them. You can probably get these at Marshalls, Michaels, Target. Um, I don't know, probably anywhere. I stacked two on top of each other, so they're like, like that short, but I just stacked them on top of each other. Next to it, I have this little jewelry tray. Um, got it as a gift to, it says something on it. I don't really know what it says. Have this plant, got this as a gift as well. I got this candle from Target, it smells really good. I don't really like candles, maybe like once in a blue moon, but rarely light candles over here on this side i have another one of these i have this little turtle thing i have all my brushes they're all like in like little mason jars my eyeshadow brushes and then my face brushes over here i have all my remotes i have a lot of remotes my glasses chapstick um essential oils and then my diffuser my diffuser is always next to my bed but i'm not gonna really show you the rest of my room maybe i can do a separate video for that if you guys are interested but right now i'm just going to show my vanity okay so getting into my makeup most of my makeup is in these two little component things the only other makeup i have is in this second drawer i have all my makeup towels it's kind of a junk drawer new foundations um makeup wipes more palettes hair products um these little eyeshadow stickers scrunchies, moisturizers, just a lot of junk. Now for these drawers. In this top drawer, I have my foundations and primers, um, Too Faced Hangover Primer, Milani, Fenty Beauty. This is almost out, so I have an extra. Uh, Makeup Forever Pump, Makeup Forever Stick, my MAC Primer, I think it's primer. I don't know, I use it as primer sometimes. I have my concealers and most of my powders. Two Femi powder, an Anastasia cream contour kit. I have an LA Girl 
dark concealer I use is Cream Contour and infallible um, concealer as well I used to use it as Cream Contour. I have Tarte Shape Tapes, a mini one, Elf Concealer, Morphe Concealer, um, Colourpop Concealer. In this one I have my blushes, my highlights. I have two liquid highlights. This is like a stick highlight. I got this in an Ipsy. This is um, Becca. This is Becca. Pixie, Tarte, Naked, Morphe, Juvia's Place, Too Faced, and then Urban Decay back there, and then Milani as well. In this drawer, I have all of my eyebrow stuff and then my bronzers. I have an e.l.f. eyebrow pomade. I um, don't really use that because it's kind of dark for me. I have all my Anastasia pomades. Um, I have Anastasia brow definers. They're pencils. I have my eyebrow gels. Eye drops because sometimes when these get all dried out, I'll put some of those in there. I have my Kylie bronzer, two Too Faced bronzers, um, Tarte bronzer, and then I have a, an EOS chapstick back there. I'd never use that. It's just kind of there. All right, this drawer is kind of crazy. It's all my eyeshadow glitters and they kind of spilled everywhere. I have my mascaras, my eyelash curlers, and then the glitters. That's basically, oh my god, the glitter is literally in the last drawer, I have sunscreen for when I don't wear makeup. I have all my eyelash stuff, tweezers. I have this highlighter. I just keep it down here because it's a powder highlighter. So my airspun powder, my Fit Me powder back there. Yeah, that's basically it for these drawers. On top, I have my Mario Badescu spray. Some shimmer mist. It smells really good. Um, my deodorant that I showed in my first video. Smells so good. Murphy spray, it's basically out. There's still some in there. A pink perfume, my favorite perfume from Bath and Body Works. A hair product I use when my hair is wet. Also put some hair oil in sometimes. Yeah, that's all the products on top of this. Okay, right here I have all of my palettes and I actually won a Morphe giveaway. So basically all of these are Morphe palettes and it's because I won a giveaway. I bought a few of these. I don't remember which ones I bought, but I did buy a few of them. Here I have my well, my beauty blenders all in here. These are I use these two the most. This is old. This is old. These are all old. Here's my mini one. I sometimes use for my eyes. I'm actually really scared to wash beauty blenders because the last times I washed them, they like got ruined. I don't really know what I did, but yeah, they just didn't work the same on my face. So now I kind of buy new ones and once I feel like. My beauty blender now is gross, so I really need to buy a new one now that I'm thinking about it. In, um, in here I have a bunch of sample stuff that I got from Sephora with my points. All of my eyeliners are in here. My glitter liners, my eyeliners, my... I have like 500 eyeliners. Um, I have my face shavers in here. Yeah, this drawer is kind of a mess. Next, all my lips. I have a bunch of lip products in here, glosses, sticks, and it, sometimes this doesn't even close, and I barely even wear lipstick, like, I don't know why I have this much and barely wear it. Up here, I have my brushes, I just got my new base cosmetics brushes, this was a set, here's a few of them. My two face jars, they're in this jar and this jar, then my eyeshadow brushes are in this smaller one, so two big ones and then a small one. I'm kind of already done explaining everything. So I guess I could go into depth with all my palettes if you guys would be interested in that. If not, then you can leave the video now, I guess. But I'm gonna show you my palettes to make this video a little bit longer and more entertaining. So now I'm sitting in my chair in front of my vanity, my desk, whatever you wanna call it. I have my palettes here and here on the sides next to these mirrors. These mirrors are kind of holding them up. The giveaway I won was their 10 million follower giveaway. They give away their best-selling palettes and all their collab palettes. Uh, I already had a few of them, like I had the Jaclyn Hill one, I had the James Charles one, which I bought, and then I had a few others, and then also some of them were just like um, browns and stuff, and I already have basically every color. <laughs> and eyeshadow. I sold a few, I think I sold two, and then I gave away some other ones as gifts to my friends because those were like perfect birthday gifts. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna start off with my older palettes. 
that I got for Christmas a few years ago. I have this TARDIS Pro To Go, whatever, um, little mini palette. I have this Revolution palette. Yeah, very old. This Lorac palette. Um, yeah, this Naked Heat palette was the first palette I actually bought with my own money. It was like when it kind of first came out. Yeah. Then I have the famous Carly Bible palette, the one with the highlighters in it. And I really used up this highlighter. But yeah, this palette was really good. It was a really good um, first palette to start off with like purples and colors and stuff. That's basically it for all my non Morphe palettes, I guess, because the rest are basically Morphe. Except for my Kylie Jenner palette, I bought this with my own money. Her bronzy palette. I used this in my first video. But just putting that out there, I do buy a lot of this with my own money. I'm not on any PR lists or anything. I'm not that big, but if you're a makeup brand and you're watching this, I'm down to be on the PR list. So now let's get into it with the Morphe palettes. So the first palette over here is the James Charles palette. I'm sure everyone has seen this palette. Very known. The next palette is the Morphe 35K. This is like the older kind before they like upgraded, but I haven't used this palette yet. I've been wanting to. I might use it on my sister because I don't really do browns. I like bright colors, as you can tell. But yeah, this palette's very pretty. The next palette I got is a blush palette, actually. Um, I used this a lot, especially when I first got it. I kind of haven't used it in a while. The next palette is old. Got this for Christmas a few years ago. This is the 35O palette, all shimmer, because I have this one in all shimmer and then the other, and then I have the same one in all mattes. Next, we have the 3503 Fierce by Nature. This is my favorite palette, probably. It's so pretty. We have the Jaclyn Hill palette. This one's also very famous. A few months ago, I think she came out with the volume two, and I have not yet bought that. I've been thinking about buying it recently, and I really wanna buy it. This next palette is the 25B palette. I don't think I've used this yet either. It has more neutrals. Like I said, I don't really use neutrals. I'm more of a colorful person. Next is, whoa, the 35R. Oh my god, this one is so pretty. I haven't used this one either. <laughs> a lot of these palettes I haven't used, but I can't even explain how thankful I am to have these. Winning that giveaway was probably the highlight of my entire life. Like. I can't even explain. This palette is the 15H. It's a little bit of a smaller palette. I've used this palette before. I used like the pink colors. It's cute, very tiny, and perfect for traveling. Sponsor me, Morphe. Next is the 3502 palette. I've used a few of these colors. Um, this is like a neutral but colorful palette so you could probably take this if you don't know what kind of look you want to go for on like a trip or something and then right in front here i have my kylie bronze palette but i already showed you guys that so let's move on to this side so over here i have about the same amount of palettes maybe more maybe less don't know so the first one in the back is the 39a palette this was i believe their morphe's first palette with like this layout like this is the same size as the james charles one i've used this palette a few times i've used the greens in it and yeah why isn't this making me look like this next is another big palette it is the 39s the cute little sparkly one with lots of pinks and purples all right, next is the 35H palette. This is also another colorful palette. It's very pretty. I've used the pinks in this. I haven't really used the blues or the shimmers. I really like this gold shimmer over there though. Our next palette is the 35P. A dark palette has purple shimmers and then a lot of dark colors. I've used the purple shimmers. Very, very pretty. Next is I keep saying next is this palette <laughs> is the 35V. How? Oh my god! I didn't even know I had this palette. <sighs> this palette is so pretty. 
Look at these blues. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have to use this. Oh my god. Next is the 35M. This one's pretty. Haven't used this one either. At least I'm being honest, guys. At least I'm not like, yeah, I used this. I'm being <coughs> honest. Please yell at me and tell me to, what's it called? To use these palettes, okay? Next is not an eyeshadow palette. It is the Bretman Rock Morphe Highlighting Palette. This palette is so pretty. Okay, I need to focus it. Isn't this so pretty? Should I put some on right now? I'm gonna do vacation and get laid. Oh, shoot. This palette is so freaking pretty. Oh my god, look. Go buy this. Oh, go buy this palette right now. Stop this video and go get this palette. Now Queen is glowing. Ew, that was so cringy. Cool. Help me. Next is the James. No. <gasps> Next is the Jeffree Star palette. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this palette. I've used it. Um, to be honest, I used the purples, and they turned out pretty pink. <laughs> so mixed feelings about this palette. All right, ladies. It's like nine o'clock. I'm getting delusional here. Next is the 35O palette, the mattes. Same as sparkles, just matte, so not the same. I really want ice cream. I've used this palette a lot. Next up is the 35, <gasps> happens all the time, it's fine. Next up is the 35G palette. Very cute, very, oh, did I tell you guys I dyed my hair pink? I need water. I was just like, <sighs> it's like gone. There's hair in my eye, there's hair in my eye, there's hair in my eye. So yeah, 35G, kind of pretty. Haven't used it. Actually, wait, I might be lying. Let me check. Not lying. Our last, oh wait, no, I'm not done. Shoot. The 15B palette, another tiny one, travel size. I have tinier ones, and I don't know if you guys want to see them. I'll just tell you the names of them. That's it for my palettes on display. Now, if we look in this, oh, if we look in this drawer, we have my tiny, oh my god, there's four key. I have my tinier palettes, um, 9G, 9J, 9B, 9C, and the 9-1. And then I have my makeup bags in here. That's basically them. Uh. All right, before I close out today's video, I'm gonna show you my lashes. I don't know if you guys really care. I don't have that many. I have some Lily lashes, some more Lily lashes. I don't think I've even used these yet. I have a lot of K Minx lashes. Well, two. I'm wearing a pair right now. These are my favorite. And then I have lash book lashes. So I have two K Minks, two Lily lashes, and then one lash book. I really want to buy Batty B lashes because of Bella. Because she always wears them. She rocks them, so I want to try rocking them. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? All right, guys, I just want to say thank you so much if you stayed till the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun filming it because it gave me something to do at 9 p.m. at night. I moved the camera because I was tired of sitting on my toes. I just want to say that um, I buy all of my makeup. My parents don't buy it for me. I buy all of it unless it's the palettes that I want in the giveaway, unless it was something I got in Ipsy, unless it's cheap drugstore um product that they're willing to buy for me but other than that all the expensive things all the brushes everything i buy myself i love buying makeup it is my guilty pleasure but yeah um i'm in a really good mood right now make sure if you haven't watched my other videos yet please watch them and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe let's get to 200 
subscribers because I'll be really happy. Thank you again for all the support. Um, it is very appreciated. Oh, oh, wait. I think for my next video, I'm gonna do either a challenge, a room tour, or a vlog. So, sign in the comments. Um, room tour, challenge, or vlog. Please say your opinion in which video you would like to see. Have a good day, everyone. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. Y'all make me very happy. Bye!